channel today's video is going to be an exciting video because as you guys all know the new ios 15 update just came out and the new iphones and i think other apple products are coming out this friday i pre-ordered my iphone um already and i'm super excited that it's going to come this friday so if you guys want to see the unboxing of my new iphone then make sure you are subscribed so you guys don't miss out that video also, I think it'd be pretty cool if you guys guessed in the comment section which iPhone I got. Like, if I got the regular iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 Pro and, like, what color. So, yeah. So, leave your guesses in the comment sections below. And if you guys are new, my name is Gabby. And I've done a couple of Apple product-related videos, such as, like, unboxing. I unboxed a new iPhone 12, MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, the iMac, the new one. Um, and a whole bunch of other products that I will list um, the playlist down below if you guys want to watch other Apple related videos. Um, so I downloaded, like I mentioned, the iOS 15. So as I'm looking at it, I can't really tell much of a difference. I thought maybe um, with the new iOS 15, I could do some like more iOS or like widget smith customizations, but looking at it um i feel like it's gonna be about the same except for um safari and as you guys can see it just looks totally different the search bar is now at the bottom but i have a way to fix it so if you guys are used to and want the search bar on the top then i will show you guys how to switch it back but this is basically how it looks yeah, this is like my search history, <laughs> but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Maybe I'll alternate from being the search bar at the top to the search bar at the bottom. I think it'd be super handy to have it at the bottom because you can just press it with your thumb because your thumb is basically like at the bottom of your phone. Okay, so for those of you who don't like the search bar at the bottom and just want it back to the front, um, or back on top of the phone. Don't worry, there is a way where you can retrack and have the search bar that's back on top. So all you have to do is go onto settings and then look for Safari. Go all the way to the bottom. And then as you see right here, it says tab. You can put tab bar and you'll see that the first one, the search bar is at the bottom. But if you put single tab, the search bar will go back to the top. So now, when you go on to Safari, the search bar is now on the top, which is pretty cool because I'll probably alternate um, if I want the search bar at the bottom or if I want it back on top. I just think it's a pretty good um, new customization, I guess, because I know with Apple, sometimes they take uh, customization and then they like do something else. And for some like us people like myself, we want the old one, but with this one, you can actually switch from either having it at the bottom to the top. I don't know if I'm making sense, but sometimes they just do this stuff where um, like new customizations that we don't like, and then they're just like, it's, I don't know, it's a big mess, but um, yeah, of course, I'm still gonna have an iPhone and all of that. Um, another thing that I found that's pretty handy is the focus on the notification tab. So it has no or uh, the focus where you can either press not disturb, sleep, driving, or you can even click to have something personal. Um, yeah, these are like allow people from notification. Like you basically get to um, choose what people you want to like call you or get the call if somebody's calling you so like let's say i put my mom as one of the people that i allow to call me when i have my focus on it the her phone call will go through but if it's like a spam call or if it's like an unknown number then it's not gonna go through so like let's say i put focus in like while i'm working out because i don't like being disturbed when i work out i don't like getting calls and like obviously being disturbed so 
Um, obviously, if my, my mom is calling me or like my brother or my sister, then obviously the phone call is going to go through and I get to like pick it up and see what they want. <laughs> um, so I just think that that's a pretty handy um, customization. Okay, and then Apple Music still looks the same to me. Um, but another feature that I thought was pretty cool in the Apple event, at least when I was watching the Apple event, they mentioned that with the FaceTime, you can FaceTime people with Android, but you need a link. Um, there's like a certain link that you send the Android users and then they like do the setup and then you can FaceTime with Android. I think that's a little, like, I don't want to say too much, but I think it's pretty cool that you get to FaceTime people that have Androids now, so... Um, I think that's pretty cool. You can also listen to music together whenever you FaceTime someone, which I think is pretty handy because sometimes when I'm FaceTiming like my boyfriend or like some or like a friend or someone else, like I try to um, show them a song that I like and then they're like, which one? And like now I can easily say this one and we both listen to it together or I think you could even watch movies, which I think it's pretty cool. Um, so I just thought that that was a good customization or a good um, thing so now I'm going to customize my phone I'm gonna try to customize it with the new like iOS 15 like Widget Smith um, especially for fall and like Thanksgiving and like Halloween and all that so I am going to customize my phone and see how I like I get all of my inspo from Pinterest so if you guys Want to follow me on Pinterest? Um, I will have my username on like the screen, and it'll always be in my description box as well as like my Instagram and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and customize my phone. I'm just gonna do like a time lapse. Um, Okay, so I just got done customizing my iPhone and it's not really much how I want it to be but I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video like what's on my iPhone and like just more into details. Um, I wish I could show you guys what my home screen looks like because there's a new feature where the notification center it just customizes your apps from like important to least important but literally my phone is so dry i just i literally have no notifications except for my boyfriend and that's literally all that i have oh i have the bible and then i just have my bank um and then of course i have a bedtime reminder because i have work tomorrow um so yeah, i have to be up super early but i'm filming this video because obviously who's not excited for the ios 15. okay so another thing that i thought was cool for the new ios 15 is the photos so once i go inside my photo album um i took a picture of my brother's dog and i actually uploaded a like morning routine turns into uh, my dog's birth vlog they're not my dogs they're my brother's vlog they're my brother's dog but i just like calling them my dogs because i've always wanted a dog and yeah they're my dogs even though they live with my brother so yeah for the confusion i don't have any dogs actually but yeah anyways i took a picture of them i took a picture of his dog and she's actually pregnant um so if you just click on the eye it actually tells you the um type of dog that she is so she is a labradoodle and it also says golden doodle so um it also shows you like similar web images of them and i just think they're so cute and just Oh, I love it. So I just thought that that was super handy. I thought that it wasn't going to work. I mean, I'm pretty sure it just works with this one because you can obviously tell that it is a Labradoodle. Um, but obviously with these ones, obviously they're like, they kind of look like little rats. <laughs> um, but let me go ahead and click on the eye and see. So it says that it's an Irish setter. Let me click on it. Does it even look like one? That is not the dog. Um, so they're still Labradoodles. 
and I'm not really sure if they're like mixed. I didn't really ask my brother. I'm pretty sure they're not. Um, but yeah, I just thought that that was a super um, handy feature. Um, also, you can copy the text from the picture. Androids were already able to do this. So I made this like outro for my last vlog. Um, and if you just hold it down, you can actually select the text. Let me see if I can copy it and if it actually pastes. Oh, almost. So it says love why all so much. So yeah, obviously um, the iOS, they need to fix these bugs because with the new iOS, there always comes with some type of bug. Um, and that's just, just like every technology. It's not just Apple products in general. Every technology that is new or that's about to come out, there there's going to be some type of bugs in it. Um, that's just how it is and then obviously like with the new iOS um, like the iOS 15.1 or 2 or 3 that's when they fixed um, the bugs slowly so I'm honestly so excited for the new iOS 15 I can't wait to start playing more with the iOS 15 and more with my new iPhone because y'all already know that I'm going to make like either a part 2 of the customization of the iOS 15 and obviously unboxing my new iPhone 13 um, but let me know what you guys are excited about the iOS 15 let me know what your favorite part what your favorite feature and yeah just let me know your comments and your thoughts about the new apple event as well i hope y'all enjoyed this video like it comment and i'll see you all in my next one mm -hmm.